Sean Kemp. I know what's going on, bro. But my boy Danny Davis said, I knew he could dunk, but who knew he was also a great shooter? Doom, doom, doom. Okay, no one was injured in this story, so obviously I could let that one fly. Sean Kemp was booked into a Washington State jail for an alleged drive-by shooting, according to the Tacoma Police Department. Police say the altercation occurred near the Tacoma Mall. No injuries, as I said before, but a gun was recovered. Mm, investigation ongoing. Okay, that's what hit my radar last night. I was like, what? Sean Kemp? Like... Because these stories, it's so crazy, these stories, so many shooting or gun stories. We're talking about countless ones, right? And now it's like everybody's trying to one-up each other, right? We got the Ja Moran. He doing this, hey. And then you got one with Joe Mixon in his home. Maybe Joe Mixon may not have been there. And then you say, okay, hold my beer. I'm Sean Kemp. Let me show you guys how to do this. A drive-by shooting. Insane. So let's read through what they said happened. Ex-NBA star Sean Kemp fired a gun during a parking lot altercation prior to his felony arrest on Wednesday. What? 53-year-old Kemp, too old for this, bro, wearing a red vest, approached the vehicle and pointed his firearm, appearing to yell something before pulling the trigger at least once outside of Tacoma, Washington shopping mall around 2 p.m. 2 p.m., y'all. The kid's about to get out of school, damn near. 2 p.m., broad daylight. Witnesses tell us they heard multiple gunshots back, back, back before pulling their phones out to record the incident. What's wrong with us? Like, if I hear multiple gunshots, this, the article ends right there because I don't know what else happened. I'm out. I ain't pulling out my phone to do this and then somebody shoot me. Crazy. And claim they saw Kemp drive around the parking lot and ditched, ditched his gun in a bush before talking to police. Oh, he gangster. Like, that ain't even smart. You running around, you just throw it in the bush. Like, they ain't gonna search the bushes? <laughs> like, or whatever. At one point, Kemp appears to attempt to flag down police to go after the other vehicle involved. Footage also shows cops searching the parking lot landscape before retrieving a handgun from a bush. Man, crazy. They say he was attempting to retrieve items he claimed were stolen on Tuesday, the day after he busting. <laughs> oh, my God. And once he tracked down the property Wednesday afternoon, Someone opened fire on him first. Uh oh. Clint claims he was purely acting out of self defense. What do we have here? Um, can't lie. I actually felt better reading that story. One, no one was injured. Two, self defense makes me look at the situation a lot differently, completely different, right? Because if I thought that Sean Kemp, Mr. Dunker himself, the beast he was, had gotten to this place in life away from the game where now he was doing a robbery. He was just out there just doing heinous crimes. I would have been like, come on, man. What is going on with the athlete fraternity? But in self-defense, I got a little off of that fastball, but I still got questions. People got to understand in this world that true power is in delegation, right? Delegation is true power. So if you're going to do something like this, let's just say your mindset waking up Wednesday was to retrieve your belongings. They stole my stuff. I'm going to get it back. One, to go yourself is not the smartest thing. Two, to go yourself with a gun may not be the smartest thing as well. You're almost asking for this to escalate, right? And it's interesting, we're seeing this a lot, and this is not just a celebrity conversation, not just a former athlete conversation. It's almost the same in parallel as to why you have an agent. Why are you giving somebody your money to do something you can do? You know why? Because you're in a different emotional state than that dude. <laughs> I don't give a damn how close y'all are. I don't care how much you paying him. He could easily walk away, or he could see the entire force no matter where you are in those trees, right? Because you get lost in there. You can't see the forest from the trees. You look, you caught up. What do you say? Your agent is not going to say, what do you say? Your agent is going to say, it's okay. So somehow, some way in this situation, you need an agent, a physical person or people, or you don't even need to be there because most of the work your agent does, you're not present for, right? You need to let them work that out, even if that's law enforcement. I know in this culture now, 
hey, you know, you can't snitches get stitches. I know if you call the police, sometimes they can't do anything until a crime has been committed and you can have proof of that, which may be a long, tedious process. But damn, you think the alternative is waking up the next day to retrieve it? It reminds me of OJ scenario. Remember what they really got OJ for? They didn't get him for the double murders, right? They got him for retrieving his stolen goods and that robbery, right? And all those things that happen. So when you look at it like that, it's like interesting. What are you really trying to attain and achieve in the moment? My learn from this is mm, when I'm in a twist, when I'm in a bind, anytime that somebody's, and look, I've, I've been uh, extorted before. We'll get into those stories. Um, uh, I've been, uh, attempted to have to check in, you know, like go to the city and city and catch me like, yo, Wiley, when you get here, holler at your boy. I'm like, no, I'm not hollering at my boy. <laughs> hollering at my family. You holler at them. And there ain't nobody messing with my family. So um, I've been in those kind of binds where you're like, yo, it's a little sticky. When I had to retrieve the car from the young lady, I ain't go over there. What you think that's going to look like? See, this is how you get set up. This is how you get suckered. It's your car. And at the time, I could have filed a police report or something like, yo, this is my car, my registration, all this, and she's driving it and she won't give it back. And I said, all right, this is going to be my last attempt at getting this car. I'm sending A, B, and C over there to retrieve the car, please. And she was like, nope, nope, nope. Told the police. Police said, well, since it's your car, you can just go over there and get it. I said, uh-huh. I don't need y'all to do anything. I got an extra set of keys. It's my car. Guess what they did? <laughs> My folks went over there, went right in the car, boom, drove off. And then obviously she probably got to the car. Oh, someone stole my car. Nah, someone came back and got their car. That's what happened in that. But the point of all of this is I wasn't there. I'm not going to be the one doing this. Maybe this situation turns out differently with cooler heads that could prevail. Or maybe it doesn't. But at least it's not Sean Kemp booked into Washington State Jail off a drive-by. Man, that is a wild one right there. So just glad no one got hurt in this situation. Hopefully it's a tremendous learning experience. Hopefully that he gets all his stuff back and those people go to jail. It sounds like it's one of those stories. But when I first heard it, oh boy, I was hurt. I was disheartened because I was a fan of Sean Kemp. Matter of fact, raise your hands out there. Who wasn't?